Princess Beatrice and Eugenie's remarkable resemblance develops strong bond as sharing grief over the queen. It was claimed that Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie, the daughters of Prince Andrew and Sarah Ferguson, have a close sisterly bond, and there's a unique experience that distinguishes them from other senior members of the royal family. Unlike other members, such as Kate, Princess of Wales, or Sophie, the Countess of Wessex, the sisters have traditional jobs alongside their royal duties, which they have to combine with parenting, just like their spouses. It may come as a surprise that those two hold no official representative role, they could often be spotted at royal events and attending Buckingham Palace's infamous summer parties. The reason is to minimize the possibility for scandal and the taxpayer-funded expense, the Queen and her heir, Prince Charles, decided to slim down the British royals. While the balcony of Buckingham Palace was positively heaving with minor royals in the 1980s, Charles wanted it reduced to a core seven or eight main players by the time he ascended the throne. That meant that the York princesses were expected to get jobs and earn their own money, something they both did to varying degrees of success. Prince Andrew's daughters are both working moms, having real jobs outside of the royal family. Eugenie has worked full-time at a ritzy art gallery at Hauser & Worth for many years, while Princess Beatrice initially appeared to struggle figuring out her passion, but she's worked for a 10-company affinity as a vice president of partnerships and strategy since 2016. Speaking of their bond with the late queen, Her Majesty felt especially maternal to Beatrice and Eugenie following the divorce of their parents, Prince Andrew and Sarah Ferguson. The queen absolutely adored them both, as sources close to the family have shared. As for Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie, they've been taking on the Queen's death pretty hard. The pair released a letter on Instagram which shared how painful the loss of their beloved granny has been. They thank their grandmother for making us laugh, for including us, for picking heather and raspberries, for marching soldiers, for our teas, for comfort, for joy. The princesses stood side by side in solidarity as the Queen's coffin once more left Westminster Abbey by procession. The two have remained close during their period of mourning. Eugenie could be seen dabbing away a few tears before crouching down to read some of the messages of the mourners. While the Queen's affinity for Eugenie's mother, Sarah Ferguson, has wavered over the years, the monarch has always remained close with her granddaughter. Even though they did receive no public funding, they both regularly attend functions with their grandmother. For instance, Eugenie often accompanies the Queen to Easter Day Church Service in Windsor and to the Royal Windsor Show and Royal Ascot. She's also known to have enjoyed from a very close relationship with the Queen, normally calling her Granny when referring to her in public rather than opting for the stuffier Her Majesty. In a celebratory piece marking her Platinum Jubilee earlier this year, Eugenie said Her Majesty, the Queen, is an incomparable monarch who has reached a record-breaking milestone. She also happens to be my grandma, and I'm very proud. They've been regularly visiting the Queen since they were small girls and would often go to Windsor to take tea with her, which is among one of Her Majesty's fondest memories. Mark my words, she wouldn't give that tiara or one of her own dresses to just any family member. Princess Beatrice earned this. Moreover, the line of succession has been changed after the Queen's death, as the 34-year-old eldest daughter, Prince Andrew and Sarah Ferguson, has moved up to ninth in line to the throne. Both sisters hold a special status in the royal family, the so-called blood princesses. This means that unlike the newly minted Princess of Wales, they were born royal rather than marrying into the family. Technically, Catherine is meant to curtsy to her husband's cousins whenever they enter the room, even though she is the future Queen Consort.